Hi Speechies, it's Lisa again from Speech Fairies. I'm just going to show you some of the books that I have um, having to do with snakes because I work on the snake sound, the s sound, very, very often. Um, so most of these are in blends, so snake with a SN blend, but I wanted to share my collection with you of snake books that I found in case you're looking for something to add to your own collection. So you can search them on Amazon. A couple of them I've got from the dollar store and the rest were found when I was thrifting. So I'm going to start with my favorite one, which is this book called Snake Supper. And it's got lots of nice S blends in it. And here's the information if you want to look up the ISBN number. You can pause and look up that. Looks like it was $9.95. Again, I found this one thrifting. I might have actually bought it on, actually I think I did buy it on like a used book site called Thrift Books, which is often through Amazon. So I had to get this one because it was so good for S blends. There's so many. So I'm just going to show you a couple of examples. So the snake slithered th slowly through the forest looking for his supper and he hissed, he was feeling very hungry. So it actually follows kind of the same pattern as the very hungry caterpillar, he was still hungry. So he sees the mouse, and then I try to get some inferencing, guess what he's going to do? And then most kids will say he'll eat the mouse. And so I do like a little countdown with gestures, and I say, um, okay, he's gonna five, four, three, two, and he's gonna snap the mouse. And he swallowed the mouse, and the mouth has disappeared. But you can still see the mouse. He's in his stomach. He swallowed him. So then there's kind of a sequence of animals that they go through. He finds a goat. And then I ask again, what do you think he's going to do? And, of course, the answer is he swallowed the goat. And, but he was still hungry. And it shows the shape of the goat inside his stomach but he is still hungry. So it keeps going until we get to the tiger. And he swallows the tiger, but his tail is still sticking out. And then he gets greedy and sees an elephant. And then I ask, what do you think he's gonna do? And most of my friends will say he swallows the elephant. But the elephant is smart and he sticks a stick. It's supposed to be a log, but I call it a stick in to the snake's mouth to stop him from eating the animals because the elephant is so smart and he starts to pull out the other animals and again I'll ask some inferencing question what do you think is going to happen and of course all the animals tumble out and if it's the right kiddo I'll talk about how they're covered in spit <laughs> and the snake's stomach was empty again you can see how skinny he is. He's very sad. He didn't get to have his supper. And his mouth snaps shut. But he doesn't give up and he goes looking for some breakfast. So that's a great book for us blends. One of my favorites, Snake Supper. I guess my second favorite one here is from the dollar store actually here in Canada. I actually have two of these. So if I get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna give one of these away. And it's called What Can Simon Be? And Simon is the snake. And it's great for a phrase level. So one day Simon looked up at the sky and thought to himself, what can I be? So he's in a little question mark here. And so we have to guess what he's trying to be. Again, my preschoolers aren't reading, but I can model the vocabulary and the rhyming words for them. I can be a bird in a nest in a tree. So we say, call him like, he's a pretend, a snake pretending to be a nest. Or he's a, a pencil snake. So nice phrases. A triangle snake. A butterfly snake. So we do lots of different us blends and little phrases. A smart snake. So I just change the words wherever you can. A sea serpent snake. That's a real loaded one. A tree snake. A skier snake. What else does he use the page? Oh yes, he's a garbage picking up snake, a helpful snake. And he's learned that he can be anything he wants to be, but as long as he can be himself. 
he, all he needs to be is himself. Don't you agree? So it has a few rhyming words in it as well. But that's a good one. That one's just from the dollar store. It's a nice sturdy board book too. I'll show you the ISBN for that one. In case you can get it. Snapshot. It was not $15 Canadian. And this one's from the same series. Snake Shapes book. And so I use the same kind of vocabulary. So circle snakes and square snakes, rectangle snakes, big and small, oval snakes. They're squished in the middle. That's a good one. And triangle snakes, one, two, and three. And octagon. So it just goes through all the shapes, but you can use it at phrase level as well. I don't use this one as much, but the pictures are funny, <laughs> especially if you have to do like a longer block or your child's working on the same sound for a while so you can keep going. This one is taking a strange path. So that one's the Snake Shape book. ISBN's covered up. Well, maybe you can see the bottom one there. There's the website that created it. And then this one, my friend Haley's favorite one. It was $6.99 on sale at the Chapters slash Indigo store here in Canada. Um, the Splendid Spotted Snake, and there's the authors, and the ISBN is right there. So it's actually cool because it has a ribbon inside, I think. One. Yeah. So he's Splendid Spotted Snake, had red spots. And he's very small at the beginning as well, but then he grew and then he got some blue spots. So again, nice, simple, repetitive phrases. A little bit of predicting and he gets longer and longer as we go through the book. You have to go slowly too, so you don't rip him. So he gets more and more spots, orange spots, and then he's still growing white spots like snow. So an extra splinter and black spots. And he finally has all his spots are blended just like our S blends and he's very splendid. And that says the ended. <laughs> so that's a nice cute rhyme. So that's a great one. I've also got the classic Eric Carl and Buckley and Carl. Here's the ISBN. He's the greedy python. So it doesn't show him on every page, but it's kind of decontextualized language. So he's on the first page and then you're assuming he's swallowing all the animals behind. Sorry, um, after this first page. And it's a nice rhyming one as well. He's very strong. He's very long. Appetite from left to right. So nice rhyming. And talks about which ones you can actually probably have a nice dialogue and a dialogic reading capacity where you can say, oh, do you think he can swallow the mouse? And kids can say, yes. Do you think he can swallow a fish? And you can go through all the animals. Do you think he can swallow a porcupine? And Oops, sorry. And you can talk about the problems with swallowing a porcupine. It's too spiky. And a monkey while well, he's swinging. A leopard and a buffalo. So you can talk about whether you th they, the children can think whether the snake can swallow those. And even an elephant. So it actually turned out he did swallow them all. So that's why he's rather large right now. So then he, f he felt quite sick and he coughed the whole lot up again, each one of them, and there was 10. So it rhymes. Or you can say he spit them out because he had a tummy ache. And he soon, soon felt better and what's more, he was hungrier than he ever was before. And then you just keep going on and he closed his jaws on his own rear and swallowed hard and disappeared. So that's a cute little rhyming one too. The other one I wanted to show you that it's just part of my collection is just a scary snake sticker book. So sometimes you can find these from Scholastic. This one I probably got just thrifting. But there are lots of snake books, especially these um, kind of fact books. So those are expository texts. And boys especially are interested in these fact texts as well. So that would be a good one for an inquiry model as well. Scary snake sticker book. 
I actually have not used it with anyone else. I kind of wanted to make it a reusable book. I'm going to show you how I do that in another video. How I can make this book into a reusable book with just laminating the pages and then laminating the stickers, mount them and then laminate them so they're restickable. And then you can find the match of where they go. And you can use them at phrase level too, so they're different kinds of snakes. You can talk about the emer emerald snake and the boa constrictor snake. So kids like those facts as well. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my little collection of S Blend snake books. And I hope that you guys are able to subscribe to our channel and hit the like if you like. If there's any comments you'd like to make about what you'd like to see next, please write it down in the comment section down below. Ring the bell if you're interested in getting notified whenever I upload content. And we'll see you very soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.